Fayetteville State University, a friendly face in Chancellor Bryant. Tell us, how about the success of this Chancellor Speaker Series? Well, the series has been tremendously successful, and I think that one of the great things that has been accomplished is that we have brought outstanding individuals to this community, and so many people from the community have attended the uh, series. And tonight, of course, was great with Nana Brazil. Our next speaker is Ron Jaworski, Jaws, one of my favorites. You know, we started out the series with Wale Sienka, who is a Nobel laureate. Uh, we've had Julian Bond, and we've had so many wonderful, exciting speakers who are sharing their perspectives with this community. Tell us, Chancellor, being on the cutting edge like you are here at Fayetteville State University, what's next on your agenda to propel Fayetteville State to the next level? Well, we're going to continue more of what we've been doing. Of course, we're always trying to get better. Stay tuned for another exciting speaker series next year. And uh, look forward to offering more and more programs that prepare our students for the 21st century workforce. And we are going to be uh, constantly assuring and ensuring the highest quality at Fayetteville State University in everything that we do. Political analyst, media consultant, author Donna Brazil. What is next for Donna Brazil? Well, I enjoy teaching. I'm currently a professor at Georgetown University. I'm also a political commentator on CNN and ABC. So I'm enjoying my life now as a, as a lecturer and also as a college professor. Donna, we thank you for coming to Fayetteville and Fayetteville State University, certainly. Is there any particular message that you may have for today's America's youth? There's no question. It's their turn to get involved, to, to serve our country, to become political activists, and to become public servants. So I'm encouraging young people to find their seat at the table. If no one will allow them in the room, then bring a folding chair, because it's time for young people to take a leading role in American politics. In 2004, young people voted in historic numbers. We need young people, once again, to get motivated, to get energized, and get involved, and to make a difference in the next election. Now, I understand you're from Louisiana. Would you like to speak about Katrina? I want to, first of all, thank all of the young people that are spending spring break this year down in Louisiana, helping us to rebuild, gutting homes, feeding people, helping to rebuild the Gulf Coast. I want to say personally, as a native New Orleanian and as an American citizen, that we're so proud of their help and assistance. And I want to thank all of the North Carolina residents for their compassion and for helping us rebuild the Gulf Coast.